You a tough guy, mister? I hope so. We gonna have a showdown. I don't miss, mister. Bear that in mind. Someone needs to teach you some respect. The prospect of dying certainly focuses the mind, doesn't it? Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. 
to settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that? I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true, especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute, and he was her, well, I, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Ah, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're... they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. How are you, Miss McFarland? Easy oh. now. You should learn to ride before you learn to herd. Let's go! Get behind the herd! That should start them moving in the right direction! Assuming they aren't put off by your smell! That's got it, Hulk Marlin! That's it!
Let's go. True calling, Mr. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch.
boy. My boy. Who did? He's missing. He's only a youngster. My boy is missing. Where? Who took him? Them people in the hills. Them hills near Hanging Rock. They took him. <laughs> can't the police force help you? No. They can't even help themselves. Please, sir. My son is missing. I need your help. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you.
Thank you kindly. Armadillo 731. What is it with these things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest. And they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's gonna hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. Then it'd be my pleasure. government. and betterments to the West. It's only made the rich richer and the poor poorer, and it's killed a way of life. Built a factory over a field ain't gonna help nobody I know. Look at what they've done to the natives for God knows how many years now. It's hardly like they're gonna suddenly start respecting a man's right to work his land. That's different. They're savages. It ain't that different, Jonah. Come on. Are you sure we're the Baller Twins, Eli? Sure as shooting. I'd know those boys any place. Are these the same rustlers who've been causing the McFarlands so much trouble? Nearly there. Oh, there. All right, Easy. leave the horses here and follow me. Let's go. Stay alert, boys. Be ready, boys. We're probably gonna be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. Nice 
you to give an old man a hand. Eyes up, boy! Behind that rock! are making progress. once and for all! Let's go, Marston! We gotta keep moving! Help me out here, will you? any spare ammo in that camp. Let's push it. 